filming Nikki Z and I'm going to be very, very quick because I've tried to film this like four times and I have like multiple camera batteries and they all keep dying. So I'm just like rambling and taking up too much damn time. So these are going to be my personal favorite blushes for summer 2015. Some of them are very cheap. Some of them are a little bit more costly, but I wanted to share what I'm personally using on myself and clients this year. So let me run into it with a, you know, without further ramblings. This is going to be the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Tipsy by Tarte. It is a beautiful matte, like almost a neon coral. It is gorgeous, guys. This is so, so pretty. So um, this is definitely a keeper and yes, they do last for 12 plus hours. I know, right? So nice. Now, um, I'm going to move on to a few others that they have. This one is in Blissful. It's a little bit more muted than the last one that I showed you. Uh, this one is matte as well. It's more of a pinky coral, so absolutely gorgeous. I'm really hoping that this is all showing up true to color. It looks like my hair is, so I'm going to assume yes. All right. Now, this one is in flush. This is not for the faint of heart. Um, this is a blue-toned fuchsia pink, like, just so nice. It's very muted. There's no sparkle, so it's matte. It's very unique, I guess is a good word to call it. I like it because it is unique. It's definitely great for a pop of color. Um, especially if you have a neutral eye and a neutral lip and you just want to have something bright somewhere, definitely sweep that on. This one is in Peaceful and this is my personal favorite of the Powder Tarte blushes. It is a peachy pink with a beautiful gold shimmer to it. So I hope, yeah, it looks like the camera's actually picking that up. It is super nice. I wear this quite often. This is a personal fave, so like, you know, keeping my purse personal fave. Now I'm going to move on to Hourglass. I have three and I have, well, I have all of them, but I chose three for the video. So the first one here is Dim Infusion because I'm a coral girl, if you couldn't tell already. This is a beautiful, like, peachy orange shade, marbleized with a, like, a creamy champagne. It is so pretty, guys. Like, this is just super, super beautiful. I love the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I do. I have three main highlights that I just adore, and that's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, the Hourglass Products, and the e.l.f. Baked Highlighters have blown my mind. Like, and they're all different price points. So, they're all great products. Um, but yeah, these, the Hourglass, they show up better, I guess. Um, a lot more natural and healthy in pictures. So that's a huge plus for me. This one is in Diffused Heat. It is a beautiful, like, I guess like a rose coral mixed with like a very light white cream. Very nice. And let's see here, Ether Real Glow. This one doesn't show up so much if you're tan or deep skinned. However, if you're extremely pale, you need to try this because it's beautiful. It's a light baby pink almost um, with a little bit of a rose shade to it with that same like creamy, um, it's almost like a vanilla. Actually, I don't think that is the same. Let me double check that real quick. No, no, it's, I'm going to show you guys diffused heat again next to other real glow. Um, the white color in this one is more of a, like a, like the Urban Decay eyeshadow vanilla. It reminds me a lot of vanilla. Uh, this one right here is a lot more of just like a cream. So very, very beautiful. They attract light and it's beautiful, obviously. I mean, that's why they're called ambient lighting blushes, right? <sighs> I don't have to be a genius to realize that. Now, the next blushes I'm going to show you guys are from e.l.f. These are the blush palettes 
from the studio line. This one is dark and this one is light and they are phenomenal, okay, phenomenal for the price point. Um, especially this shade up here. It is like a red, like a deep berry red, almost like a cranberry with gold glitter and mmm, -hmm. mm, yeah. And then they have a few like burnt shades, there's a few pinks. Whew. And the cool thing, the backs, yeah, they pop out, guys. You could actually mix and match, which is a lot of fun. Um, obviously, when it comes to customization, that's a huge plus in my book. Now, I'm going to move on here to MAC. I have two blushes, actually, I want to share from them. This is the new formula of Warm Soul. It's a mineralized blush. It brings just the perfect amount of warmth to your skin. However, the price point um, for the new formula, I feel like it's not that great. There's not a lot of pigmentation. Um, let me just show you guys. Clean finger. I'm going to kind of rub twice. So it looks like you can kind of see it, but then when I actually swatch it for you, there's really not a lot there. So the old formula was amazing. New formula, it's beautiful. I use this as a topper. So I do apply this on top of corals and other shades that I have to get kind of like a little bit more warmth and a little bit more shimmer, but it kind of lacks in pigmentation. So the price point, not so great. If you get a chance to get it though, you can use it on top of any other blush and it's going to look beautiful. By itself, it's just kind of meh, but you know. Now the old formulas are freaking heavenly. This one is in Style Demon, and it's like a rose, like a pinky rose with a copper. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just like barely go over the top twice. Look at that. Look at that. Like, look at this shit. Look at that. It. Mac, what are you doing? Go back. Go back to the old formula. Like, why would you ever change it? Anyways. That is sexy. All right, and the squeaking, that's my chair, so sorry about that. I'm gonna move on to some Tarte cheek stains real fast. I have Natural Beauty, which is a beautiful deep red. This is sexy, like this is an orgasm flush, like no joke. Yeah, NARS, they have a blush called Orgasm, but it's not really, you know, cool name, doesn't really, remind me of anything, I guess. But I'm not here to talk about my sex life. Anywho, I've got Tarte's Full Blossom, which Tarte, freaking shame on you, okay? This is like the old packaging. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. 28.4 grams. Here's the new packaging. This one actually has 14.2. 14.2? 28.4. It's like the same price. Anyways, don't get me started. Um, it's a beautiful rose shade. Now there's like a film on the side of it. It is supposed to mix. So when you do mix, you get like a really nice natural kind of glow. And believe it or not, when you rub it in, it's just very, very subtle. I prefer the cheek stains versus the powders. Just saying. I really enjoy them. They last longer and I that's pretty nice. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys Tipsy. This is a like almost neon coral. Again, yeah, Tarte, what are you doing? This right here is a piece of plastic, okay? This is how much product I have. Anywho, it's really nice. Price point now is kind of shitty, but you know, whatever. Inflation. Anywho, um, it's a very pretty coral with like a nice, kind of like metallic shimmer to it. So whenever I do apply it, like let's apply it right here. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. I'm going to blend it out. This looks super pretty and I wear this one quite often. I, and I hope that shows up for you guys. It is beautiful. Like, beautiful. 
I just really like corals, so. All right, I'm gonna move on to Sleek, and then Benefit, and then NARS, and then I think I've covered all of my favorites, and one color pop. So, um, Benefit, I have Dallas here. This is a, like, brown mauve. It's, or more like a beige mauve. It's very, very pretty. I use a little bit, for, I know it sounds crazy for a contour, like just towards closer, I guess, to my hairline, and then I'll use a brighter color. Um, I blend it a lot with different, you know, different shades, usually like oranges or um, dark pinks, and I feel like it does add a little bit more warmth and a little bit more of like a muted tone to them, so that way it's not overwhelming. Very, very nice. And of course, Benefit did the same thing, basically, that Tarte had just done with their packaging and less product for the same price. This is the old Georgia blush, which I love. It's 11 grams, guys. Okay. 11 grams of freaking rocking goodness. 11 grams. This is a beautiful peach with a little bit of shimmer. It's gorgeous. If you are super pale, you will love that. Now, if we take a look at Dallas, it's 9.0 grams. Inflation! Anyways, okay, I'm gonna move on because it's breaking my heart right now. Sleek. I'm gonna start off with my personal favorite sleek blush right here. Um, well, I have two, but this one is the one I'm wearing today and I've been wearing it a lot lately. This is suede. If I can open it with my nails. It is a matte, like, almost kind of like an orange beige. It's muted. I love it. This is super, super gorgeous. It brings the perfect amount of warmth to your cheeks. It's damn sexy. Now, this one is Sunrise, which is another of the damn sexy, all of the sleek ones I have are damn sexy. Um, this is beautiful and unique. It's kind of like a burnt, like a burnt orange, if burnt orange and mauve berry had a baby, this would be it, and it's full of glitter. Now, I did crack it, or I, I broke it, so I have to be very careful. However, I want you guys to see, um, hopefully you guys can see here, let's see, um, it has, like, different, I don't know if this is in focus or not, meh, um, but it has different glitters in it, it has chunky gold, and it has, like, super, super fine gold shimmer, so, I guess gold shimmer and gold glitter at the same time, which, pretty neat, it's pretty cool, um, here's another one, this is, I love suede that I just showed you guys, but this is, this is the other one I was talking about. This is pomegranate, and I'm hoping that you guys can see, the, like, the iridescence to this. It, from one direction, it looks like it would be just a, like, a berry, cranberry, you know, like a crimson cranberry red blush, but when the light hits it just right, it has extra dimension, guys. It has, like, almost like a reddish pink shimmer. It is, but it's, it's, like, evenly dispersed throughout the whole blush product. So it's not glitter by any means. It's so beautiful. It, mm. <laughs> I could talk about that one for all, probably all day, if I could. I don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, all right, this one's in Flamingo. This is a super freaking neon bright corally pink. It's more pink than coral. Um, definitely something grandma may have wore back in the day. Like, I love it. It's, it's very fun, very bright, very charismatic, and it's matte. So definitely a good time. Flamingo's a good party, and it's su all of the sleek ones are super fucking pigmented. Like, it's ridiculous. This one is a blush by three, which is always a good time because you get more for the price. It is in Sweet Cheeks. How cute is that? Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> Anyways, that was kind of silly, but yeah. So there's Candy Floss, Dolly Mix, and Cupcake. One is a matte cream blush. This one right here is very similar to NARS Matahari. And then you have a bright pink, like, it's... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a bright pink. 
like in your face good time and it's I just wiped that off and it's still like there so it's super freaking pigmented so thank you sleek for being amazing and having like the coolest price point ever here we go with NARS this is NARS Matahari a muted fuchsia it's blue toned absolutely gorgeous definitely not for the faint of heart and it's very bold so definitely bold definitely fun I enjoy it it's a little sexy Here's the NARS Foreplay palette. Now, I love this because you have a variety, which is always great. You have a neon pink. You have like a, it looks like orgasm minus the shimmer, like minus the gold tone shimmer. Then you have, of course, orgasm, and then you have a gold shade. So definitely fun to mix and match, play around with, um, you know, custom, custom create your own look, which is always cool, right? This one is great, however, some of you may not like this. This is NARS Enchanted. It is a beautiful muted peach. However, there's the glitter in this. I like it, but in small amounts. And the reason being is it's pigmented, it's pretty, but the glitter in this reminds me of like nail polish flakies. Like some are super huge and chunky, and then some are just like random and small so um i don't really know why they would put like super huge chunky like i hope you guys can see that but you guys may not be able to it's just like why would they do that i don't know why but a little bit goes a long way it does warm up the face um not a fan of the huge chunks <laughs> but i really like the small chunks so if they would Anyways, it's nice, but like I said, some people may not like it. This one is my favorite NARS blush. It is Sin, and it's almost like a purple muted berry. Like, it's so nice. It does have a shimmer to it, and that shimmer is, like, gold. It's evenly dispersed throughout the product, so it does have a nice sheen. There's no glitter. It's just sheen, which is beautiful. It catches the light perfectly. Um, anyways, I tried really hard to go through all of these very, very quickly. I think I did a great job because my camera battery did not die. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, some of these have already been swatched on my blog. Oh, I fib. There's one more, guys. It's by ColourPop. I have a bunch. However, um, I wanted something unique. I had a lot of the same colors I just showed you, and I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. This is beautiful, and if you are tan or deep-skinned, you're going to love it. It is kind of like a gold champagne. It's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I... Yeah, look at that. I am, like, so in love with ColourPop. Like... Hmm. I really wish that they would send me some products to review, because, I mean, I've purchased all of mine with my own money. But there's, like... 30 different products or 30 shades I really really want to use in all of my tutorials <laughs> I would just paint my face with color pop like just all over my face so um yeah but I'm not cool enough I don't have enough viewers and all that stuff to get stuff like that but man I wish they would because I really want to use like every single freaking color that they have all over the damn place it's good stuff, guys. Definitely worth every penny. Um, at least what I've tried and what I have. Um, but yeah, so there, I have finished it. My battery has not died, which is phenomenal. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see swatches, of course, some of these products are already on my blog. All about your eyes, lips, face, dot .com. You can just search in a little search bar thingy. Um, and yeah, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.